Hi guys, Q from Let's Go Audio Visual. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we want to give you 10 smart home ideas that you should consider when looking to refurbish your home, and I hope you enjoy it. Smart heating is probably the most fundamental solution that you should be looking at in your home. Every home needs a thermostat. Every home tends to have underfloor heating now. So with multiple areas that need to be controlled, why have a system that's backdated that's not app controlled rather than having a solution that is controlled via an app as well. What that means is that you can control multiple areas even when you're not at home. So say you've come back from holiday and the heating's been off for a long time, you may want to turn on the heating or even the hot water so that when you arrive home, you'll be able to turn on the heating from when you left the airport. So by the time you arrive at home, your home will be nice and warm, hot water will be on and you'll be able to have a shower. That's probably the most fundamental solution that I would strongly recommend that you have in a smart home. Smart lighting, so smart lighting is probably one of the most fundamental solutions to having a home. What that means is you can add different experiences in different rooms. I'll give you an example. So if you're in a home where you're looking to extend your rear part of your property, you're gonna have a family lounge in there, a dining room space and a kitchen room space. What that means is you're gonna have probably family lounge spots, family lounge table lamps, you can have a dining room pendant, dining room walls, multiple circuits. So what that means is, if it wasn't a smart solution, you'd physically have eight dimmums on the wall. So basically it'll be two four gangs stacked together, which would be quite ugly to look at. What that also means is that you're gonna physically have to turn on each individual dial and turn to the setting that you want. However, with a smart solution, what we can do is tie that all together into one keypad. So you could have a morning scene, which will be turn on the room, say at all at 100%, an evening scene, so when you're watching TV and just want to chill out. A pathway could be a link from your rear part of your property, link you all the way up to the landing upstairs. And a good night scene, where you literally just turn off everything in the room, including shades. What that also means is that you'll be able to have everything controlled onto an app. So say you've forgotten to turn, on the light, turn off the lights downstairs when you've gone to bed. You'll be able to see what lights are on and physically turn them off from the app itself. You can also have smart lighting sensors such as this. What that means is you could be entering from your front door, carrying all your shopping, and you're not able to physically turn on the light switch. So you can literally get in through the front door because you've got all the bags in your hands. It's probably raining outside. With a smart motion sensor, what that will mean is when you walk past it, it'll, we can program it to make an entrance way through to your home. So maybe it'll turn on the hallway lights, going through into the lounge, leading you all the way into the kitchen. So no physical buttons have to be pressed once you enter. At different times of day, we can set additional scenes. So it could be like a nighttime scene and you're looking just to go to the toilet, but you want, don't want all the lights to be on fully bright because you can't quite find where the light switch is. The motion sensor will sense you coming out and it's nighttime and it will know what setting you want the home to be at. So automatically it will set on the, turn on those circuits to the level that you want so you can do what you need to do and then return back to bed. Smart security, another one that's probably the most important part of your home. Everybody wants to keep their family safe and secure in their castle, so smart security. That can be from a house alarm. Most homes have a house alarm. Some homes have CCTV systems. A majority of homes now have a smart doorbell. What that means is with all three of those, we can tie those all together into one place so you can have all of them and see them all as and when you need to and control them as and when you need to, all from one independent app, such as Control 4. So you'll be able to view your cameras directly, arm and disarm the alarm, and with the intercom, you'll be able to answer your calls even when you're not at home. In addition to that, we can also add a keypad entrance. With that, we can do timed events. So at certain times of the day, you'll be able to give access to say the gardener or the cleaner with their own independent code. However, those times, we can time it to be a specific day at a specific time, any day of the week that you require. So what that means is if, it's, if they try to enter the property for whatever reason, outside of those hours, they won't be able to gain entry without your permission by physically letting them in. Home cinema and media rooms. 
Now these are great options if your family loves to watch film together or even watch sports together. Now in a home cinema, yes, the commercial cinemas are now open, but how comfortable do you physically feel by going to the cinema now? The cases are still rising in the pandemic and it's probably a lot more safer to watch it in the comfort of your own home with your own necessities and luxuries that you have within your home. So with a home cinema, you can have an experience of a Dolby Atmos setup and literally enjoy the film as a director intended with a solution that has a full cinema package, be it speakers, chairs, projection, or even a large TV. So most homes now have large sliding doors, big panes of glass, and there's no real space to where they want to have the TV. Now the sofas tend to always be facing towards a wall or also facing the garden space. Now with a motorized TV bracket, we can have that TV fixed flat on the wall when you're not using it. However, when you do want to watch TV, we can make that bracket turn out and face you on your sofas so you can enjoy watching sports, Netflix or sitcoms, etc. And then once you finish watching your program, it will literally recess back What's also great about that is when you're having a party, that TV doesn't have to be stuck out there. Someone doesn't have to physically push it back so it can't get damaged. It's literally locked in position so you can still protect your assets as well as still enjoy the space as and when you need to. multi room audio. Now, if you want to party, there are lots of different solutions that you can have in your home. So if you had a grade two listed building or you don't want to see your physical speakers within your home, we can use something called invisible speakers. What that means is we can literally cut out a bit of plasterboard, whether it be in the ceiling or in the wall, fit an invisible speaker, plaster over it, decorate the room, and you wouldn't even know that they're there. The other option is in ceiling speakers and in wall speakers. Now these give slightly better sound performance, but obviously the downside is you have to see the speaker within the room. The other option being floor standing speakers. Now these will give you much better performance because the speakers are fitted within an enclosure that amplifies the sound and gives it much crisper, cleaner listening than your in ceiling and invisible speakers. Smart curtains and blinds are also a great feature. You can do a simple button press from a light switch and that will make all your blinds come down or go up depending on what button you've pressed. We can do timed events so that at dusk we can make all the blinds close within the property. We can do it as an alarm clock so that when you set the time within your home they can all raise. What also is great about smart blinds is they can also help conserve energy so you could actually turn or close all your blinds and curtains within the home to help conserve that heat where those windows are to keep the heat in. And also these can all be added as part of the holiday mode of the smart lighting system. So again, with erratic behavior and how you live, those timed events can get played back. So no one actually knows when you're in the property and when those blinds are gonna close because of how we physically live as human beings. Wi-Fi and data around the home. Now these are probably the most fundamental things that you should have around the home. Obviously during the pandemic, everyone was working from home and realized that their Wi-Fi was probably the most thing that was lacking in most properties. Now with Wi-Fi, we can put it in all the relevant areas to give you the best coverage, as well as have the physical data points so you can plug in those PCs and do those Zoom calls without getting interrupted. Obviously we all have mobile devices, iPads, etc. So having a good Wi-Fi network that is designed to take the amount of devices that you're gonna have in a home will give it you the most reliability and also stability when it's in use. A great addition to your smart home is a voice activated assistant. That could be an Amazon Alexa or a Google Home Assistant. What that means is you could be sitting down and you're about to get up and cook. So you could say, hey Google, turn on cook and it will turn on the cooking scene of your smart lighting system. Or once dinner's ready, you could say, Alexa, turn on dinner time. On the dinner time scene, we can program it so that lights flash in the kids' bedrooms or the areas where the kids might be, and it will notify them that they need to come down and enjoy dinner while it's hot. So you haven't got to run around the home trying to call people to come down when dinner's ready. Here's an example of Amazon Alexa working with Control 4 Lighting in our showroom. Alexa, turn off blue. Okay. Alexa, turn on blue. Okay. Alexa, 
Turn off pendant. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed our video. As always, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Now, if you want any of those smart home solutions, be sure to contact us via the links in the description, and we hope to see you on the next video.